Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up variations for your eBay listings. I um, had a friend of mine that was curious how to do it, um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so you can list teams and uh, or different products under one listing. So I'm going to go, uh, once I log in, I'm going to go to sell. Brings me to my selling uh, hub then I'm gonna create a listing single listing <laughs> and I've got templates already but let's just start a new one um, then we're gonna browse categories um, for this video I'm gonna do it for my friend that's trying to set up a box break that he's trying to do so cards he's doing a basketball break And I believe he wants to do tenders, draft picks. Uh, we're not going to worry about a subtitle or a label categories. Don't worry about that. And then right here is where we're going to put in our variations. So we're going to create variations. Um, get rid of these because we want to do a custom one. Um, I'm going to add my own and go for team names. Save that. So all, this is going to be our drop down box. The, the list is going to come under and then that's going to be the title of the list. And then what your is in your list is here under options. So now I'm going to go with um, Atlanta Hawks. And add that one and you'll see it takes it over here now this is in your drop down list of team names let's put another one in Brooklyn Nets oops sorry about that so Brooklyn Nets I hit wrong button there uh, I'm gonna add the Nets so now we have Nets and Hawks in our drop down list let's throw another one Boston Celtics add that so now I've got those in my drop down list um, and go through all the teams or whatever you want to put in there um, and then we're going to update those variations um, choose add rows automatically uh, don't do it yourself so now um, we can add from here don't worry about adding photos you can do that in the main listing uh, but here's where we're going to uh, deal with our variations so it's going to bring you to this page, go all the way down from here. So I've got the Atlanta Hawks. Um, and if I want to sell them for a certain amount, like let's say that, you know, the Hawks are going to go for five bucks. I can save that and that'll just, and then I can go to the nets. Let's say I want to sell them for 10 bucks. Um, and then the Celtics will sell for 15 and you can go through every team that you put in there or whatever you want, whatever variation you choose to do. Uh, you can also add your quantity um, for box breaks. You're only going to have one team, so it's usually going to be one, one quantity. And then we're going to save and close. <laughs> and then it takes us back to the main selling page. And you can add your photos here, um, add in all your uh, details, information of your selling, add in the description. And it's going to be a fixed price format. Uh, you can't do it with auctions, only fixed price. Um, so now your price range is 515, quantity 3. Um, I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff right now. And then I'm going to post it. <laughs> PayPal, whatever shipping you want to do, uh, promotions, discounts. So let's list this item. I need a description. Okay, so now we're going to list it. Okay, so now I can check it out. I'm, uh, 
let's see what the listing looks like. Okay, so boom, if I, ideally I'd have my pictures here of what I'm selling with all my uh, details and everything. But see, this is what you're looking for. Team names, that's the list that we put in. And now we have a drop down. The Hawks, we can see are $5. Nets are $10. Celtics are 15. People can just buy those now. And that's the way to do variations on uh, box breaks or any other kind of listing. All right, thanks a lot.